Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this podcast, Tahana Topics. I wanted to talk about Shannon Dodery. She is one of my favorite actresses. And the reason why I wanted to focus on her is because she's terminally ill. She has uh, terminal cancer and it's spread to her brain. I'm really sad to hear about it. Hearing the news that she is um, fighting for her life and that the cancer has spread to her brain has made me really think about her and what she means to me, her, her work. I've never met her. I don't know her. I'm, she is an actress that I really admired. Um, I'm about her age. I'm from generation X and her work has been in my life. I remember seeing her on little house on the prairie. This is from page six. It says, um, Shannon Dotery appears happy, healthy with friends after breast cancer spread to her brain. It says cancer stricken Shannon Dotery enjoyed a carefree evening with friends Monday. The Beverly Hills 90210 star was seen leaving dinner at Nobu in Malibu with a female pal and a security guard looking happy and healthy after undergoing brain surgery. There, there she is. It says, dressed in a red blouse and tan cardigan, Dotery was photographed smiling and laughing before getting into a car to leave the celebrity hotspot. The charmed alum, 52, announced in early June that her breast cancer had spread to her brain. But that fear, the turmoil, the timing of it all, this is what cancer can look like, she wrote on a social media. At the time, adding that she had received the news in January. Uh, she looks good after what she's been through, and I'm glad she is surrounded with her friends and family. You know, she has been candid, uh, continues to say about her illness. This right here, it says the Heather's actress. The Heather's actress shared that one of her biggest fears was leaving her mother and how that would impact her. I think she's very brave to, to show us this side of her, this personal side of her. Uh, this is how I know her, um, as Brenda from 90210 from Heather, in Heather's, as Heather Duke in 1988. Oh my God. She was so funny and cute. And then in Mallrats, she was hilarious and just so stunningly beautiful. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with these photos, this is, uh, this is Shannon when she was in the movie Heathers and again in Heathers, just a really beautiful actress, the brunette. There she is again. Um, here she is in Fortress. I need to see this. This is a, this is our house. I watched this show when I was a young girl and, um, she was just always fun to, to watch. And I know two and oh era, or maybe, I don't know, maybe this is charmed, but I do remember this Shannon Dotery and again, just very beautiful and funny, talented little house on the prairie. And here she is as Brenda Walsh. And I've been watching 90210 reruns lately. I don't know about you, but it's so much fun to watch again. I haven't seen them in about 30 years. <laughs> it's been about 30 years since I, I watched them. I watched them when they first came out, at least the first season. First, second, I, when she left is when I stopped watching. I tried to get into Tiffany Amber Thiessen and the other brunettes that were welcomed onto the show to replace Brenda Walsh, but I was not interested. She was just so much fun to watch. Yeah. And I hope she re oh, got this episode. I remember this episode with Dylan when, um, 
it was a spring dance or something, and she and Kelly, Brenda and Kelly, wore the same dress. So you guys, it's just heartbreaking that she's going through this. And um, at first, I was when I when I heard the news. At first, I was a little um, upset at Jenny Garth and Tori Spelling because they they didn't really come out and support Shannon. You know, they might not be close anymore, and I get that. But this show was very. Uh, I mean, they, they you had to have bonded this show made them although she was the star in my in my opinion because of heather's our house um uh, uh, what's, what's the other one? Oh yeah girls just want to have fun but this this show 90210 really did make her an icon so you can see you know they've just they've grown they grew up on that show so i'll just close this and I wanted to show um, this article that was that came out today uh, it says Tori Spelling and Jenny Garth wish Shannon Dotery hadn't left Beverly Hills 90210 um, it's Tori Spelling Tori Spelling and Jenny Garth wish Shannon Dotery would have stayed on Beverly Hills 90210 longer Dodery left the hit series in 1994 after four seasons of playing Brenda Walsh during an episode of their 90210 MG podcast, Spelling and Garth, said if the show had taken a break to sort out direction for her character and some issues between cast members, it may have, may have helped. I wish Brenda would have stayed on the show, definitely, but I don't know where they were going to go with her character. Garth said she would have she would have had an on and off again relationship with Dylan I really don't think they would have stayed together because Brenda was a character that really wanted to live life to the fullest and did not want to stay in Beverly Hills so um, I, I can see, I can see a little bit of what Jenny Garth was saying. And here we go. Spelling agreed saying, if I'm going to answer as a fan, which is how we go into the show right now, rewatching. Yes. I would have liked it to work out. So Brenda could have stayed being in it and on the outside of what was going on at the time, there probably needed to be a break because the, there was just the energy, you know, she wasn't happy. Um, it is good to hear that they, Tori and Jenny, both uh, respect Shannon and her, her work and the character, Brenda. And I do think that her terminal illness and... I do think her terminal illness and everyone being older and more mature and everything and having everything slow down, you know, getting to evolve as you do in life. Um, yeah, they, they've matured and appreciate each other more, but I get the feeling that you know, they iced her out and, you know, for the better, you know, she, she's very talented and, um, she went on to do other iconic things from in, in her career, other iconic roles from in her career that just don't compare with, uh, Tori and Jenny. I, in my opinion, this was it for them. This is their show. And that's probably why they have a 90210 MG podcast, you know, whereas Shannon Dotery is, um, doing, let me see. Yeah. She's just got a lot under, I mean, she just, she has a lot of, um, she's got a lot more work that she's known for. 
Yeah, I just want to wish Shannon Dotery um, a full recovery, uh, happiness from now on, for her to feel at peace and happy and I don't wish her any more pain. If you can see here that she, her, she divorced her ex-husband recently this year and she has terminal brain cancer. So she's going through a lot, but I do think if we collectively, her fans send her love and well, well wishes, she can feel it. And I know she appreciates it just by the interviews that she's um, given, what she says in those interviews and her friends and how they've rallied around to support her, which means she is surrounded by love. That's exactly where she needs to be. Okay, you guys, um, thanks a lot for listening and I'll see you in the next podcast. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.